uh, Dan Mitchinson, Senior Business Development Manager for Leicester City in the community. And I really believe in the power of apprenticeships uh, and the, the kind of employment opportunities that they create for, for young people that need it. Um, made the decision to work with Active Together um, and Coach Core, mainly because both organisations share the same kind of values and ethos of, of Leicester City in the community and what we're all about. Just it's a new kind of new ethos that comes into it. So you're engaging with young people. Um, so yes, they are employees, but also we learn a lot from the apprentices themselves. Um, so kind of that youth voice, um, that piece. There's a lot of association between younger staff members um, tied in with uh, some of our younger participants. Just having that kind of new ethos, you've got um, new staff members coming in that with that eagerness to learn. Um, they're bringing a different skill set and knowledge base that, that, that what we maybe already have within the organisation. And it's a range of ages as well. So we've had apprentices that are 16 and straight out of school. We've had apprentices that have kind of career change partway through. So it's just really important for, for people to recognise that it's not just about a, a, an apprenticeship, as in like the old school kind of YTS style um, models. It's very much about this is a learning opportunity. It's the same sort of model as going to a college or university. You're kind of learning on the job in an environment that, that suits that person best. The, the relationship with the active partner, um, so active together, is, is really, really strong. Um, they support us a lot around their, their kind of partnership development. They support us a lot around the kind of education pathway and, and the connectivity, really. Um, so it's really, really important that we continue to engage uh, on that local basis. They, they've got a lot of the local insight. Um, they've got connections with a lot of um, broader employers. Um, so it offers us that kind of that kind of peer support, peer networking opportunity with other uh, organisations with a kind of similar similar vision to ourselves. I think the whole thing has been been brilliant. I mean, I was integral to um, the conversations right from the outset, so I understand the different partnerships. I used to work at Active Together, so that, that also helps. Um, so I understand the role Coach Core play in regards to that kind of national ab advocacy and being able to kind of pull some of the funding together, being able to kind of really understand the... Um, the education element to it and that kind of real national picture and taking the learning from different programs and different cohorts to strengthen the one that exists in Leicester. Um, our relationship with Coach Core is great. Um, our relationship with Lifetime directly is great through kind of Gareth and Brogan. And then, as I said before, the, the relationship with the active partner is, is really, really strong. So collectively, that piece is great. Uh, and then the opportunity to be able to to sponsor the program as such through the, the apprenticeship levy, it was a, for us, is an absolute no-brainer. And um, we've got the resource available. So why not work with three kind of really strong partners with the shared vision um, to kind of really grow um, and embed apprenticeships across Leicestershire. I like the fact there's the pathway from level two to level three. And um, we've been involved in that conversation. Um, Ara, one of our members of staff, is following that pathway. So she completed level two. She's had roughly a year in um, industry as such and then is now ready to complete the level three so it's that kind of broader pathway um the conversations are always there um i've been part of the education advisory panel so being able to have the opportunity to speak as an employer um to coach core directly is massive um maybe an element of kind of additional kind of youth work um bolted onto the, the level two and level three qualification certainly from our perspective um because it's not just about sport from our perspective it is a lot of kind of youth engagement youth involvement but the the standards that you have to deliver to are um not restrictive is the wrong word uh they, they're quite set and quite rigid um so it's all the kind of additional um things that would be bolt into it so if you had apprentices come out with a, a level one level two in youth work alongside the sports coaching stuff for me that is a really well-rounded individual um to then be able to go out and deliver on our behalf, so not necessarily all of the other employers, uh, certainly like our kicks provision. So it's young people, it is youth work through sport um, rather than sports coach. I mean, we've mapped the coach core apprenticeship to our what, what we call grow your own. So we have a, a target of 30% of our workforce has come through our programs. The idea being that you might enter as a participant, young leader, volunteer, but you're then supported on a pathway to become um, a member of staff over time. So for us, it's really important to get that really well-rounded experience. So there's a, there is a place for the level two, definitely. Um, it's that kind of entry level, learn about different coaching techniques, learn how to engage with different communities. For me, the level three is more appropriate for, for our work um, because it's that kind of broader kind of health and community offer, but you still need that sport element. Um, but I feel if I was to, to speak some of our 
entry level staff and go right here's a level three it's probably a little bit too much so as part of that learning journey they would go from they do the level two get it understand those processes and if they're ready and able then they would move to the level three um but that starts off what we're intending that to be is starting off as a participant so you could come in and maybe do an fa playmaker qualification to get a, a sense of what coaching means then maybe move towards your multi-skills qualification level one qualification but if we can tie that into an employment opportunity it would make perfect sense to do so